So, as a secondary prelim preliminary, before I begin the steps to open an ashram, I would like to make another preliminary talk, namely about Dhamma. What is Dhamma? What do I mean by Dhamma? Because Dhamma is a word I am going to be using a lot. Uh, there is a lot of confusion between the word Dhamma and the word Dharma, and especially between Buddhism and Hinduism and uh, Vedic beliefs such as Brahmanism, Jainism. Uh, Dharma is more something like a cosmic law and has other meanings in the Hindu philosophy, whereas in Buddhism the word Dhamma I prefer to translate as phenomena because in fact all things, everything you can think of, be it material or immaterial, is a Dhamma. Uh, there are two major kinds of Dhammas. Some of them are Gusala Dhammas, which means auspicious Dhammas, auspicious phenomena, events, abstract concepts, thoughts, feelings, objects, be they physical or immaterial objects, are all dhammas. But if they are of a nature which brings dissatisfaction or suffering or uh, stress, then they are agusala dhammas, they are inauspicious dhammas. And if they are bringers of peace and wisdom and understanding, enlightenment and truth, then they are auspicious dhammas. But all things indeed are dhammas. The dhamma. So when I speak, in most cases, if I proceed the word dhamma with the, the dhamma, I mean the nature of all things as explained by the Lord Buddha Sakyamuni. Uh, but I will also use the word Dhamma and its plural Dhammas to mean things or phenomena or happenings or experiences or events. So one should understand a very wide spectrum of meanings when we are using the word Dhamma in the ashram. Uh, I hope to be making a lot more preliminary talks in preparation because I really do have a lot of things to explain, not just about philosophy and beliefs and practice, but also about the ashram and how I plan it and how I envision its manifestation. Thank you for listening. This is Ajahn Spencer saying good night. <laughs>